Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video I want to show you a little bit about our graphing tool that's available in the class called Desmos. Many of you may have a graphing calculator and those are great to work with, but if you don't have a graphing calculator, Desmos is a great option because it's free of charge. What you want to do is go to desmos.com, that's D-E-S-M-O-S.com, and when you get there you'll see a screen like this one, and the first thing you want to do is click on the button that says Start Graphing. So this will open up a new window. You'll see the graph here on the right hand side. Up here in the left is where you'll go ahead and put in your formulas that you want to graph. And down below are some tools that you might be able to use to create those formulas. So let's go ahead and start with a really simple formula, uh, something like a quadratic function. So I'm going to define this with function notation. So I'm going to say f of x equals, and now I'm going to type in the formula. Now I can go ahead and type the x off the keyboard, or I could use the one that's right here, squared minus 6x. And as you see me typing this in, you can see over here it's graphing this. If you want to go ahead and uh, hide this stuff down here, hide your keypad and click there. And now you see the parabola that comes from that quadratic function. Now it's not quite centered on here very well. However, if you go anywhere on the screen, hold down the mouse, you can drag it to where you want it to be. Now sometimes it's not very easy to drag something to where you want to see it. Perhaps you want to put a window in. You can go up to where you see the graph settings here, the little monkey wrench. And then you can go ahead and tell it, oh, you want to go from, say, 0 to 20. And perhaps you want to go from negative 20 to positive 10. Click outside of that and you can see the graph in that window. And then maybe you can go ahead and play with it a little bit. Now one of the nice things about Desmos is not only uh, can you do uh, functions of x, you can do functions of anything. And even you could write y equals x squared minus 6x. That would work. I'm going to get rid of what we just did. I'm going to click the x here. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, some function, maybe p of q. So that means my formula is going to have to be in q. How about equals minus q squared. <clears throat> now if I need to get to the square here, I can go ahead and show the keypad. Or I could also just use a caret. That would work also about plus 50q minus 100. So I can see a portion of the graph here, but I know this should be a parabola, so I could zoom out on this, and eventually I'd get to a point where I could see it. Or again, I could go up here and do the graph settings. But now that I can see the two pieces of the parabola, I can go ahead and drag this down and I'm getting a pretty good idea of what a good window would be. How about I go from somewhere around 0 to 60 and then 0 up to maybe 500. So I'm going to try negative 5 so I can see some of my axes to 60. And then maybe how about negative 50 up to 500. That's pretty good, but I could maybe go a little bit farther. It looks like if I go up to 600 for my y values, I'll have a pretty nice looking graph. That's not bad. The nice thing about Desmos, it's free and it does lots of other things. So watch for more videos on how to use Desmos in our classroom.